He couldn't even give me one lousy round, Mo. Not one lousy round. You will always be a loser. Take your filthy money. And Mo goes, Hey, I don't need your stinking money. And Paul gets it. <laughs> but come on, Askren, come on. Help, after all that. His, his prediction was to take it into the seventh round and win it in the seventh round. All right, what's up guys? Paul here with this YouTube reaction video. I'm gonna sit back and watch this fight which is about to start between YouTuber Jake, the problem child Paul versus Funky Ben Askren. Very exciting fight. A lot of people are throwing shade on it, dismissing it as a circus. Yes, it's exactly what it is. And that's why most people are interested to watch it like myself. It's an intriguing bout because of the unknown quantity to it. On the one side, you have Jake Paul, a YouTuber turned professional boxer. He's looked impressive in his three bouts to date, but come on, two of those fights were against fat little YouTubers with completely zero boxing credentials or experience. And the third one was against a very short retired basketball player who, albeit, an athletic specimen looked extremely raw and ill-prepared for that fight against Jake. So that's the Jake side. He's looked good, but he's fought nobody. And then you've got Ben on the other side who was undefeated for much of his MMA career until his face met the knee of Jorge Gamebred Masvidal in his second UFC bout. After which Funky Ben Askren became a bit of a laughing stock and then he lost his next UFC fight against Damian Maya. And then he retired. Throughout his whole MMA career, his boxing looked nothing short of ridiculous and just way below par. In fact, I've seen it described as it looked like someone punching in a dream. Like, it just looked so bad. Like I, with my rudimentary Muay Thai skills, just look much slicker and, and more competent when hitting pads than he does. And this guy, it's incredible that he actually did that professionally for so long and was able to win fights. Why? Because in MMA, you don't actually have to box. You can take guys down, wrestle, use jiu-jitsu. So Askren decided to take this fight, believing even his deficient boxing skills would be good enough because he is, was an actual mixed martial arts fighter versus Jake, an untested YouTuber. So let's sit back and see what, what happens today. Event of the evening. Eight rounds of boxing in the cruiserweight division. Jake's a big boy. And this is sanctioned by the Georgia State Thick Athletic dude. Commission Six and sponsored by DraftKings. Commission Executive Director Matt Woodley at ringside the three judges scoring. Ed Canner, Nola Oliver, and Richard Sells. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Brian Stutz. Brian and now, Stutz. the officials are in place and they are ready. The fighters are in the ring and they are ready. So from Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Atlanta, Georgia, to the millions watching around the world, uh, let's get ready, ready to, to rumble! rumble! You gotta love that. Introducing first, fighting Three out of the blue the corner, belt. wearing have black have and white, and weighing in officially at 191 pounds. He's a two-time Big Ten champion in wrestling, two-time NCAA champion Looks in a wrestling, frazzled. a 2008 wrestling U.S. Olympian, Does not and look as in a his elements, famous like mixed is. martial artist, has a record of 19 victories with only two defeats. From Heartland, Wisconsin, USA, Funky Ben Askew. <laughs> and across the ring, his opponent. You got his name wrong. The red corner. Mate, you had yellow and black one, and okay, two jobs. In at 191 Get both fighters named pounds. You call him Ben Askew? Record, two fights. Q Askew. Two victories, sound like Askew. Two wins Askew. by knockout. 
from the Buckeye State Jack of Ohio, Stickers, but Tom now Alex, living, training and training out of Miami, Florida, USA, thriving. the undefeated digital superstar, Jake, the problem child, Paul! How could the announcer get the guy's name wrong? Like ben Askren is a really famous guy as well. This fight has been hyped and built. Had your instructions, obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. These are good, these are a little high, but they're all right. Let's have a clean one. What do you say, these are a little high? Someone short? Jake Paul, Who's short to the main undefeated Funky Ben Askren making his pro boxing debut. Ray said some shorts are too high. Mario Lopez, Alan like Bernstein, wow. Pete Davidson, Crime yeah. Faces. Wow. Gentlemen, buckle your seatbelts. Here Fight. we go. We got Snoop Doggy Dog go. oh, on commentary too, right? Yeah. Waste no time and get to it and do it. Here we go. Ben ain't got time to fill out nothing. You ain't filling out no applications. Ain't nobody hiring, so we ain't ben, filling out no applications today. Ben this got is that, not a uh, fill out. Ben got that Vince Vaughn body. <laughs> Vince Vaughn, oh, yeah, but oh, he has nice overhead. Like Man, Oscar, come on. Nice overhead, right? You know ben it's not about like aesthetics. Milk, but <laughs> he's well, come got on, that country show strength. some pride right. in your appearance. Freddie Rodriguez did say that Ben Askren does have deceptive power. Getting the half decent shape himself. for this fight. He did say that Ben Askren, if he fights the right fight, can defeat Jake Paul. Freddie Rodriguez was complimentary of his work ethic and the fact that he did everything he asked. He's getting in for some dirty boxes. That's why he's saying he's the only way he can win this. Yeah, he's that's what, he, that's what he needs to do to be victorious. He needs to fight him like a wrestler. Get inside, muscle him out, tire him down, and control the fight. And control the fight. I hope they start kissing. <laughs> yeah. You think they'll start kissing? That's what oh, I'm here for. Oh, oh, Pete okay. Davidson. What Jake Paul did for Dick before two rounds kissing. are done, he's going to put away Ben Askren. Oh, hey, Ben oh. out there fighting like a 1940s fighter with that old ass style. Yeah. <laughs> Askren like change that style. Look, that's that. Uh, it's decent okay. start to fight. Jake hey, Paul well, being a lot that, more disciplined. Body shots in the clinch. Yeah, that's that's the fighters used to use. That's been looking all right. Here. Change that shit up. Oh, Jake there's a left hook on the top right. of the head by Paul. Bang! Hey, shit! Shot to the body, body. Shot to the rib. Bang! Right to oh. the motherfucking head. He's a fucking. Jake bad got them hands out now. He is. Jake hands go. Jake's a bad boy. You think I'm gonna put two million dollars on the motherfucking goofball? What? Jake Paul sparred with former world champion John Pascal and also Jake Paul. What do you got? Clearly hit on the chin, on the chin chin chin. Got woman in left on his camera as well. Finish him! Finish him! He's up, he's up. Refs called it off. Refs called it off like that. What's that? 90 seconds in? Snoop was celebrating here a million bucks on Come on, Askren. It's embarrassing. Embarrassing, man. I don't care. Askren pleading with the ref, saying he wanted to continue. Well, come on. A man of his age dropped so cleanly so early in the fight, he had no chance of coming back, so... Granted, you could say it was somewhat early, but I don't even think Askren or Ask You, Ask You, will complain too strongly about that. He stood up on the eight count. He was, he, he looked, he was standing, but he looked like a bit of a zombie too, a bit like The Walking Dead. Askren, man, come on. I know he said he didn't really care, he was coming in for the bag, but he couldn't even give me one lousy round, man. Like Lucius Sweet said in Simpsons, not even one lousy round. You couldn't give me one lousy round. You will always be a loser. Now take your stinking money and get out of here. Hey, I don't need your stinking money. Simpsons reference. You got it, you got it. You don't, don't pretend you didn't get that. Come on. But Askren, man, it's embarrassing. It is, and despite his protestations to the contrary, he was, to some extent at least, representing the MMA community. Even though he didn't want to be, but the guy was a champion with one championship. And 
even though he's not at all a boxer, he's one of the actual worst strikers in the history of mixed martial arts, especially with, at the UFC at least, and one championship and Bellator. He was still, to a degree, it's the first time, well, not the first time at all, but it's one of the first times an MMA guy has crossed into boxing in recent times. In such a high profile thing, at the very least, yeah? So, whether he wanted to or not, he was flying the flag for the MMA community. And it's for his family, for his family and for his hometown, like, you, you want to show up and... You want to show up and at least do yourself justice. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you got paid for it, but come on, man. Where's your Olympian pride? So there were two bad omens for Askren for me coming in. First of all, his potato bottle of milk, roly-poly, love-handled physique. And secondly, the fact that the ring announcer couldn't even get his name right and called him Ben Askew. From there, it was all downhill for Funky Ben. Jay, look, props to Jake. Um, he's a bit of an asshole, a bit of a piece of shit, but he gets people watching and say what you like about him, and many people do, like I just have. He's got hands, he can box. We need to see him in a real fight now for the fourth, well, his fifth fight now has to be a real boxer. Come on now. No more ducking and diving and padding your record with these freak fights. Let's see Jake in a real fight against a UFC striker, or at least a real pro boxer. All right guys, cheers for watching, and like and subscribe, cheers.